In this video I'm going to show you how to create a simple virtual machine with VirtualBox. What you'll need is the VirtualBox application available from virtualbox.org and an operating system installation medium. I'm using a Ubuntu ISO but uh, you could also use like a Windows disk. So start up VirtualBox click new to add a new virtual machine next I'm going to name it Ubuntu select the operating system type as Linux I'm going to go ahead and give it 512 megs of RAM uh, my computer has a total of 2 gigs and you shouldn't give your virtual machines more than half of your available memory I'm going to create a new hard disk and I'd like to, it to be the boot hard drive. Click next. I'd like to have a fixed size storage and the default location is fine. 8 gigabytes is fine. I'm going to finish. Okay, I'm going to pause the video while VirtualBox creates this virtual disk. Okay, that took about three minutes to create that virtual disk. So now we're finished, and your virtual machine's been created. Um, it has a hard drive, but there's nothing on the hard drive yet, and your operating system hasn't been installed. So to install the operating systems, we need to click Settings, go down to CD, DVD, ROM, we're going to mount a CD DVD drive and you can use the host drive in your computer if you have a disk but I'm using an image file so this virtual machine is going to create create it's going to treat this image file like a CD drive so I need to add my Ubuntu image into the virtual media manager and select it. Click OK. And all the other default settings are fine. So now we're ready to start up our virtual machine. Click Start. Ubuntu is starting up like it has a CD in the drive go ahead and click English and install Ubuntu alright now we're at the Ubuntu install screen so we can just click forward pretty much using all the defaults for the purpose of this video. I'm on the west coast. USA keyboard. I'm just going to use the basic partitioning scheme of Ubuntu for the sake of this video. More advanced users can set the partitions themselves. Name my computer. Give it a password. says my password's weak, but that's fine um, for this video. You should always use strong passwords if you're using it on a laptop or something like that. And install. I'm going to pause the video while Ubuntu installs. Okay, that installation took about 10 minutes, and Ubuntu 
restarts itself after the installation completes. And in just a second you'll see the Ubuntu desktop. Now you essentially have a computer running inside another computer. Um, if you've never used Linux before, it's an excellent, excellent way to play around with it. Um, you can do it without worrying about breaking anything or making your computer unbootable. Um, you can also use it to run beta software potentially unstable software, potentially dangerous software, um, or you can load up a old DOS VM and play old DOS, DOS games. Uh, there's just a lot of things you can do with the VM. You can use it to sandbox your browser if you're browsing unsafe sites or you don't pay attention to what sites you browse. So that's how to install a VM. Uh, you can do it with Windows as well. The process is the same. So all right. we'll shut this VM down here. And I'll show you one more thing you can do. With VirtualBox. Okay, so I got that VM installed, and one handy feature of VirtualBox is you can take snapshots. So I have a fresh installation, I can take a snapshot of it, name it Fresh Installation, and now if I mess something up or delete some sort of system file I can just revert back to this snapshot and Ubuntu will load up just fine. It'll think it's a new installation. Uh, so play around with VirtualBox. If you have any more questions or if you'd like to lo know more about virtualization check out virtualbox.org and gaslampcomputers.com